Sternova is the new hot game right now, and I gotta say I'm very impressed with it. I really do like this game in general, and I would actually like to talk about it. I don't think I'm gonna be a Sternova content creator, um, but I do think that a lot of gacha players should consider getting Sternova. But before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. Guys, we're doing a Hollow Life collab right now with, you know, uh, Narissa Ravencroft, Crony, and Mori Calliope. I'm just saying, if you guys love VTubers, this is the best time to go for any VTuber cups. We're also doing a collab with Numi with the Kissy Kissy Paradise uh, flavor, which sounds really, really good. It's a passion fruit mango flavor. So, but without any further delay, let's go ahead and talk about Sternova. I'm only going to talk about the things that, you know, uh, I can really show off here. I'm not going to go into a match. Um, but I will say overall, the matchmaking in general is pretty quick. It seems like people are having fun. I enjoy it. There are times when I get a little bit frustrated, but I think that's just in general with FPSs. That's just how it is, right? We're going to get mad about losing or anything like that. But I will say that it, it, it seems like it's a lot of fun. Now, there's plenty of things that I see could be a little bit of an issue. Uh, the gameplay lets you go into this like Paper Mario mode type of thing, and it's unique, but it always ticks me off because I have a hard time dealing with it. And plus, there's no controller support, which irritates me because I play on controller, but I I can't play on controller or play controller on this game, right? So, but that's that's one downside as it is. But it looks like you could have up to three people in your party at once, which is cool. Um, season. Overall, they do have a battle pass, which I've already done uh, almost 30 of the battle pass, but it goes up to 110. So there's a lot of the battle pass to go for. So make sure that if you're playing the game, you're playing the game, right? There's a lot of really cool stuff. You can get skins, weapon skins, uh, medals, it looks like, voice lines. Now. Yep, different little voice lines, which is really, really cool. Um, and also summon tickets, which we'll talk about the summoning feature in a little bit. Uh, you got different uh, weekly quests that you could go for or daily quests. Um, what I like about this is that the weekly quests in general, you're able to actually do all of them at once if you choose to, which is pretty neat. I do think that's really cool, but uh, weekly quests seems like it's not going to be too hard. I, I still got to figure out with controller super strings. I got to figure out that one. And then, of course, there's the Chronicles, which is the storyline stuff. Uh, nothing updated past episode four, but you know, it is what it is doesn't matter where the different agents lead. are so sick For now, there's so many different ones that you can choose from to like enjoy what they do like there's aika which i just recently got me. and i played her once no matter where i, I think that she could be really really good uh she's a single shot uh duelist it looks like uh she's able to summon flames and a tornado flame which is pretty neat and then each shot of the enemy accumulates heat up to 100 points at max heat damage against uh string stringified enemies increases other skills can consume heat or boost uh you can also Summer, change the different secondary weapon that you want weapon. so if you want to do sword you could do a sword for close range if you want to do uh pistols you could do those it's pretty nifty right you also have different have types of grenades that you tactics. can go for as well but the one thing that everybody wants to know is what can you do with the different characters and how do you get the characters well you can unlock I characters lead. by using different types of currency to get them uh, or you could get like little tickets that give you the character for free basically But your main current or your main currency is gonna go towards skins, right? These skins have different looks to them. Obviously. That's the whole point. Uh, ooh, I like this one a lot That's pretty cute um, But you also not only have these regular skins which you could buy with different types of currency You also I have need. weapon skins which these weapon skins are always so sick to look at. Like this one's got like the little playing cards coming off of it. You got Summer Beach, you got the Ronin, which Ronin skin is on a lot of different characters, but it looks so good. Right? I will lead. Another thing about this game too, is that when you're I'm wanting so to get away from like the gameplay, you could go talk to basically what is your girlfriend in this game. And you get, like, different gifts for them for, like, different things that you give them, which I don't have any gifts to give at the moment. But as you level up, you get more stuff. So, there's that. You get different skins. Like, you get the Purple Raven. You also get the Mids Midsummer Night skin. You get this little chip skin background. 
Uh, you get these different emotes, so on and so forth. There's also this weapon skin, which everyone looks at. Um, but yeah, it looks really sick. I think that's a cool thing about this game as well, is that it gives you this just to kind of unwind and get away from everything, right? And then, of course, we go to the store, which I think every gotcha player knows when you go to the store, it's game over. Uh, because you get different, you can buy different skins. You have your daily picks, which give you different skins, voice lines, stickers, and of course, uh, costumes as well. So, but you also get these, these memory sequence boxes, uh, which you get a chance at certain things. So like, let's see, open for a 90% 90 per, 90 chance at, of two, 5% chance of three. So you get like, you know, different summons, I think it is. Like you can get different tickets, basically. Or you could go for this one, which gives you different things as well, the weekly ones. So, um, we'll go ahead and we'll go over to the summon. Because there's this, which is like the limited time summon, um, which is pretty neat. But you also have your reconstruction, which gives you uh, different legendary skins that you can go after. You could actually choose which one to go for. Um, the only thing is like, I have this ticket right here. And I don't know what it's what I could do with it. I gotta figure that out. So, um, but yeah, overall it doesn't seem too bad, right? So I think, ah, let's see. I think we gotta go for this, right? I think we gotta go for the one skin right here. Here, let's do random. Look at that. And now let's go. We're gonna go ahead and put 10 in there. Skadoosh and draw. Let's see what we get. Now there's no guarantee of anything, obviously. We have two chances at a legendary skin. Let's go. Give it to me. They're right next to each other too. We just need something to aim towards there. Dang it. Okay. Well, we didn't get a legendary skin. We got a bunch of purple. We did get a new weapon right there. We got a couple of stickers. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna escape from there really quick because I do want to learn what this gold ticket does. I wish I knew what this ticket was. Ah, whatever. If I could wear it out dancing. I really do want to go for this one because memory. it is like, yeah. There we go. Random. We're going to do one more draw on this. One more draw. Let's hope and pray we get it. Pray we get something good! I see purple on the thing, which means I think we're only going to get a purple as our highest. There's a purple. Ooh, nope! We got an epic skin. We got what epic skin? Let's see it. Raging Wave. For Michelle. Actually, I use Michelle, so that's perfect. But we did also get a uh, skins for Meredith and uh, Flavia, so that's cool. Then we got different weapon skins. We got a Ronin skin for who? Just Ming? Well, there we go. But yeah, I think that overall the game is fun. It, se it, it seems as though like this game is a great cross between like anime and like CSGO slash Overwatch. So let me know in the comments down below if you are playing Stranova. And if so, maybe we can team up. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you so much. Love you to death. And as always, we will catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.